Well, my, my expectations are, you know, like they are at every tournament, just because it's a summer league tournament, that it really doesn't change my expectations. Uh, I want us to go out there and compete and compete to win. Um, you know, with, with the uh, fall and the spring that we've had uh, on paper and stat-wise and, and uh, all the rankings, you know, we're, we're supposed to go out there and finish eighth. And uh, to me, that is uh, not acceptable. Um, so, yeah, I want our boys to go out there to compete with the attitudes that we're going to win the daggum thing. I don't care what it says on paper. We have the talent to win this golf tournament. Um, we just need for four guys to click at the same time and to, to finish their golf rounds, and we're going to be just fine. Well, this year at the Summit League Tournament, I really think I have a chance to compete and possibly win. Um, I'm coming off of a really good spring season. I had my best career finish at Bradley. I got second place, and I really thought that I was going to win that tournament. And then I had a 74 and a couple 75s down at IU, which they weren't really to my expectations, but for a bad round, uh, 74, 75, 75, that's not bad at all. Um, but, yeah, last year at, at the Summit League, I – I think I had 70, 78, 81, and I was really in it until the back nine of the last day. And I had to go for some pins, and it just didn't work out for me. So that 81 was really more like a 75, 76. Well, I, I think, as Jake said, you got to be patient. Uh, it's 54 holes, 18 holes a day. You can't win the golf tournament on the first day, but you can certainly lose it. And, uh, you know, we've got to, and we'll talk about that, and we've got to be prepared for that with that mindset. You know, they don't have to go out there and make a ton of birdies on, on day one. We just can't make any big numbers. We've got to be consistent with our scores, hit fairways, um, hit greens, and uh, make it easier on ourselves. And then we'll, you know, we'll see what happens on day two, day three. I do like the course. It's a challenging golf course, but the way that I'm striking the ball right now, I really think it fits my game. Um, I think I can go low out there. You don't have to go too low. I think even par, two under par might win, and I think I can do that definitely. Well, every week, you know, we have conversations about what we think it's going to take to play well, to do well, and that's not going to change. Uh, we've got a young group uh, that are learning um, each and every week, and I'm proud of that, but we've got to learn to finish rounds. Uh, this, this past week at IU, through 14 holes the last day, we were on fire. Uh, and beating some really good teams for the day. Uh, but our last four holes, uh, we did not finish. We played awful. And that's just from immaturity. And um, our, our young guys know that. They talked about it after the round. And uh, I would hope that they would do something a little bit different to uh, not let that happen at the Summer League Tournament. But, you know, mentally, uh, they've just got to be patient. It's going to be a long three days. And uh, – I like the direction we're headed and uh, looking forward to uh, being in Texas. Definitely hitting fairways and greens. Um, putts will fall, but you just got to be patient. Um, hitting the fairways, it's huge down there. The tree lined and uh, a couple dog legs. Having a good shot at the greens with the wedges, nine irons, that'll really do it for me. A lot. Um, this fall, we did not play very well. And, you know, when, when you're playing three freshmen, a sophomore, and a junior, in some cases, four freshmen, some cases, you know, two, two, and one, um, you're going to make some mistakes mentally. Uh, college golf compared to high school golf, which a lot of these guys uh, stepped on campus um, as freshmen, is huge. There's really no comparison. And, and as much as you can tell them about that, uh, until they actually experience it, uh, they're not going to learn the little things that, that have to get better at the Division I uh, college golf level. But uh, we have improved a ton. Uh, our last two tournaments have been uh, really good for us score-wise, uh, regardless of what place we finished. Our scores are coming down. And, um, you know, if we continue to do this, uh, our program is going to be very successful um, uh, next year and in the years following.